Um, I'm a member of the Loud Mouth Collective, and I started performing spoken word poetry in you know events like these about a year ago. So I started something around May last year. Um, and since John did a piece on uh, about his girlfriend, I thought I would do something about my girlfriend, who's uh, the very lovely young lady over there. And uh, this poem is entitled Jack. <laughs> if people ask me what I love most about you, I wouldn't know what to say because you're not a car whose best features include uh, great mileage or uh, an anti-lock braking system or great suspension. Although, I do love your headlights. And uh, I can't leave a review for you online and say, wonderful wit, great conversationalist, five out of five stars would date again. No. You are, as Cusack once said, a unique constellation of attributes. And I wish I could be so inspired as to tell you exactly what you mean to me. I wish the answer to that question came so easily. And I have put off doing this for as long as I could because how does one even begin? How does one begin gathering the universe into a salt shaker? How does one begin dripping the oceans into a shot glass? You held me close, held me together, kept me whole when I was trying my damnedest to make you fall apart, held on to the last bit of sanity that tethered me to this earth. And when you did, you let me find my way back to you. I wish I could explain how you saved me when all I wanted to do was drown into memory. I wish I could explain how the ground I stand upon cannot compare to the rock that you have become for me. Nothing comes easy with love. It is surfing the crest of a supernova. It is riding Taurus to tilt against Orion and Hercules. It is inhaling the nothingness between stars because you told me that everything would be all right as long as I held your hand. It is facing down the dragon, not because you came to rescue the princess, but because this is the only thing that makes sense. It is madness. And it is sublime sanity. And I told myself, I would never love this way again. I told myself, I understand what love is now. You can always spot the fools. They're the kinds of people who say things like, I understand what love is now. So thank you, Jack, for making me feel foolish. And perhaps that is what I love most about you.